Visual Style Settings 2D Wireframe. When we set our visual styles to 2D wireframe, uh, we actually are seeing them as though that they're wires soldered together, whether it's 2D or 3D. And so we end up with these uh, wires that control the edges of the object. If we were to look at the visual styles uh, and we look at the options for these, our 2D wireframe options, uh, we control the 3D elements when we're 2D. We have our contour lines. <clears throat> this is our ISO lines system variable and default is 4 and you can easily set this up to like 12, 24 and you'll be working just fine when you that shows more simulated wires and then when we have draw two uh, silhouettes anytime we have an edge of an object where we can't see past it, it would draw the true silhouette of that object by saying yes uh, we also come down to uh, occluded lines and that's when we have uh, when something is hidden by the view you know so when we type in hide and something's behind it we can show that particular uh, item and we can show it with a particular color uh, so we can tell it what color it is or we can tell it by what line type it is and we can pick different line types so if something is behind such as this little bit of a line we can have that being a color and a, and a, and a line type of that little bit that's on the back side of something being shown. Uh, 2D hide intersections. This controls the intersection when hide is used. And so when we have an intersection, uh, so we'd have this intersection right here where this, this uh, intersects with the other object. We can show that, we can say yes or no, and we can set the color that we want for that particular intersection. Um, we also have uh, a uh, we also have the miscellaneous in which we have the halo gap and this determines the gap that is displayed when one object partially obscures the other <clears throat> so between the foreground and the background uh, edges and this is this is only displayed when we use the hide command and we have a value here of 0 to 100 which is a percentage of one unit so by default it's off down in the resolution uh, or display resolution uh, we can have our circle smoothness this determines how smooth such as a circle or um, an arc is and it represents a thousand little segments in a circle because a circle is truly a, a little bit of segments that go around and the higher the number the smoother the circle uh, in our uh, spline segments this controls the number of segments in a spline fit polyline and uh, that number can go all the way up to 32,000 uh, and change uh, 32,767 and um, so that determines our smoothness of our spline fit polylines and our solid smoothness which is our face trace system variable which uh, by default is at 0.5 it can go from 0 0.01 all the way up to 10 and that's when we want a nice smooth finish on a 3d object we typically set that system variable all the way up to uh, 10 so we get a nice smooth finish on our 3D printed models in our 3D printer. So uh, our wireframe, uh, again, our wireframe shows things as if it was drawn or soldered wires put together, whether in 2D or in 3D.